Dave LaRoche, California Angels. He was always naked about everything in the locker room. I finally got tired of it one night. We were having a team meeting and he was constantly interrupting people. I said to him, just shut up and listen to what the guys have to say. He asked what I was going to do about it. So I challenged him to a fight. There was a broom closet in the back of the clubhouse. I opened its door, turned on the light and said, come on, let's go in. As soon as he walked in, I turned off the light, closed the door, and wailed away at him. Hall of Famer, Rod Carew. Dave LaRoche is known for his unique pitch called the La Lob. He is one of the last major league pitchers to use an Ephus pitch, which he utilized as an out pitch late in his career. His Ephus pitch was thrown overhand, but would arc as high as 20 feet on its way to home plate. Dave LaRoche would start his career after being drafted by the California Angels in 1966. He would also play for the Minnesota Twins, Chicago Cubs, Cleveland Indians, back to the California Angels before finishing his career with the New York Yankees in 1983. He would finish with a career war of 15.1, accumulate 65 wins, 126 saves, and 819 strikeouts. And yes, Dave LaRoche is in Perfect Team 23. He has a 98-rated peak card, and by looking at his ratings, he seems to be more of a lefty specialist, with 114 stuff, and 117 movement. And Dave LaRoche is a member of the Rocky Mountain Gladiators. Added at the very end of last season, he was pulled in a pack and made a one-game appearance in a wildcard playoff game. Unfortunately, Rocky Mountain did not win that play-in game, However, we anticipate that he will be a big part of our bullpen moving forward, likely in the stopper and specialist role. And welcome to Perfect Team 23, Genesis Edition. All right, here we are. Perfect Team 23 Genesis Series. Simulation Gaming Digital Realities is the channel. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff that everyone says that you should do. Yeah, for my channel at least you should do that. Come on, go go hit that like button. Alright guys, the season is over. This is the Silver 260 Playoffs And as you can see, the Emperors, Anaheim Emperors, took the title. Let's take a quick look at their team. Nothing too stacked. Fair bit of diamond and gold. And a couple silver, Phil Garner and Butch Weiniger are the two silver players. So they took the title over the Fromis underscore nine. And if we look at the overall standings in the playoffs here, four games to two, winning the final game, nine to three. So quite the uh, quite the victory. They won ten to two, nine to three. So they had a really good team. You can see the stats over here for Anaheim. Looks like. All their hitters did extremely well in the series. And pitching-wise, 
Pedro Martinez. A lot of teams have Pedro. Fairly easy to get in the missions and uh, understandable that he went 2-0. Let's take a quick look in the card shop. What is Pedro going for? Fairly cheap, 7,500, putting in a buy order. I don't have him yet. Uh, I've got 6,000 perfect points. I'm going to hold off on him. Hopefully I can complete the mission before I have to buy him. All right, that is the final standings of 2024. Again, if you missed it in the last episode, we lost out in the play-in game to make the wild card. We lost three games in a row at the end of the season, which forced the play-in game. And we lost that to the Flint, I think this is. Let me see, is that Flint? Who is this team? Yes, we lost to the Flint team. And then they went on and they almost pulled off the upset over our Ming. But it wasn't meant to be. So there you guys go. When we pick this up, it will be moments for you. But it will be a day in advance for me. I'm recording this part on Sunday. I'm going to record the next section on Monday once we find out where we have been placed. We are going to stay in silver. If we look at the promotion relegation, notice we just missed out on promoting to gold. I'm okay with that. I'm good with another year in silver. And we will see you in a few moments to show you exactly where we ended up. All right, here we go, guys. Welcome. We are in Silver 273, and it is already day 19. So for you guys, it was a flash of a moment where we went from Sunday afternoon to Monday afternoon. For me, it's been 24 hours. So welcome, I guess, back, even though it's only been a matter of seconds for you guys. So again, we are in silver, 273. Let's take a look at our standings. Oh no, Rocky Mountain is not off to a good start. I am opening this for the first time, so I am seeing it live with you guys. Four and a half games out, so that's not too bad. On the basic leaderboard, Clayton Kershaw is second in strikeouts with 33. So it looks like he's off to a good start. And if we look at our conference we're in the american conference again and asbury honolulu busan and sunset beach are the competition way too early to talk wild card uh, we've got a sunset town here in terms of the best record in the league right now it looks like 12 and 3 canada's team fighting bissonettes referring i guess to the hockey player that used to play for Arizona, I believe. So they are first place right now. And let's take a look at our team. Here's what we're starting with in silver. That will change over the course of the week. And let's take a look at the top team. I'm going to guess a lot of perfects. Oh, only one. One perfect. So not really stacked, although there are a lot of diamonds there. I see a lot of uh, mission players and I think we'll be adding some mission players very soon as well. Let's take a look at who is performing. Clayton Kershaw, lots of strikeouts, only one and one. Joe Musgrove, 0 and 2. Zach Wheeler, 1 and 2. And Addy Jose at 0 and 1. So our pitching, our starting pitching is not great. I'm going to move Addy up a couple just because he's pitching a little bit better. And our bullpen is actually looking really good. Other than Brian Harvey, I'm going to take him off high leverage. I'm going to put, yeah, I think we'll leave it like that. Ryan Presley's got a save, Mace Brown. Yeah, and there's nothing really wrong with our bullpen. 
Brian, have you blown some saves? Only two so far. Okay, so not overly horrible. And let's look at our hitters. Sorting by war again, it's very early. Only 15 games played. Tito, who you saw in the video a little earlier, was our player, our hitter, our gladiator of the year last year. He won the Shield Award for the best hitter, and he is hitting 380 right now. Go get yourself a Tito Francona. Uh, JJ Hardy, again, a stud on defense. He was our unsung hero last year. And Jeremy Pena, in a limited role, is doing well as well. 333. Uh, let's look at Mel Ott. Oh, ho, 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 Mel, what is going on? 122 average. Oh, no. Oh, did you have a few too many beers before the season started? What's going on there? I have not seen a diamond player hit that poorly at a silver level. Well, Mel, we're going to give you a couple more days. In fact, let's let's move Boog up one. Sometimes just changing players in the order, they recuperate a little bit. So let's move Mel down a little bit in the order. In fact, even a little bit further there. We'll submit that. Make sure we got our reserves in. Yes, we do. So we're good there. Uh, not going to do any major changes with the team yet. I want to give it one more 10-day, uh, 15-day kind of sim. So probably on Wednesday, for Wednesday's video, we'll make a few changes. And going to go and take a look at our duplicates and sell those off. Haven't really focused on the card shop much. For those new players, if you go to your screen here, and go to manage cards. And if you sort by duplicates, these are all the guys that you should be selling off. Either a quick sell to get the minimum. Silver's are always worth 100. Bronze, 25. And your iron, 5. If you have a gold, you'll get at least 1,000. And if you have a diamond, you'll get at least 4,000. And if you happen to get a perfect card, Try to sell it on the auction, but if you just want to quick sell it, you'll get at least 20,000 perfect points. I also like to kind of see who is hot on the market. So right now, Josh Donaldson, who's part of two missions, is going for a pretty good price. Same with Jose Berrios and Johan Carmargo, over 600. So I'm going to sell him Right now, looks like 698 is the lowest. So I'm going to undercut that a bit and go 623. Because the more of him that come out, that people open in packs, the lower he's going to drop to probably 200, 150 within a couple weeks. Jose, someone's willing to pay 711. I'm going to take that and run 7-Eleven. So I put in 7-Eleven and it should automatically sell it to the person that put in a buy order for 7-Eleven. So submit. He is sold. Actually, both cards I think have sold already. And Josh Donaldson, let's sell him off. People are willing to pay $12.50. I'm good with that. That's way more than a quick sell. 100 sell. And it sells after, of course, it takes off the tax. There's a 10% kind of rake that OOTP gets. So that's why it showed that it sold for a little bit less. Mark, we're going to sell you as well. No buy orders. The lowest is 123. So I'm going to put it at 119. Oops. Happened there. Let's try this again. Wrong player. Oh, he just disappeared. I guess it did go through. Okay, try a couple more. 90 is the lowest, so we'll put it at 85. Submit sell. 
and we'll do a couple more rod scurry someone's willing to pay 40 i don't want to sell it that low so i'll go 77 and we'll do the uh, 480 ones here because that's more than 25. so no one is selling for under 100 so i'm going to go 106 that will be the cheapest on the market and we will go 93 again cheapest on the market and again i could go through and i think they allow you 200 that you could list so once you hit 200 then you won't be able to list anymore until one of themselves and i would hope if you list 200 you're going to get at least one sale right away and we'll list him at 93. So again, if you if you want to make that sell, sale, you have to kind of undercut. I kind of like this system. You can see what the prices are. Now, if someone went to buy it, they automatically get it for the lowest price. So if you go and buy Clay Homes, you're not going to pay 153. You're going to pay 70. Now that I put the lowest price on, if anyone wants to buy him, mine will show up first. So I will make that first sale. 99's the lowest, let's go 93. And finally we'll go 71. And we'll list it at 71. All right, now the rest of them are only going for 60 perfect points or less. So I'm just gonna tag them all. Actually, I'm going to, I'm gonna put the catcher on because catchers sometimes are valuable. So I'm gonna list them at 55. All right, so we'll tag all 41. We will quick sell 345 perfect points. So I could take the time and list them all individually, but I'm really not gonna gain that much. I might gain an extra 100 or 200 perfect points. For me, it's just worth it to quick sell. The higher price ones, yeah, you wanna list them. So let's go to the transaction history. You can see all my quick sales here. They show all the ones that you sold off. And now, Josh Donaldson, he sold, Jose, he sold, and I've got a couple listed that haven't sold yet. You can also go to, uh, used to be able to show your auction, maybe your card orders. And here it shows all the ones I'm selling. And here it shows the one I'm willing to buy. So I've got a buy order in, I'm gonna increase that for Sad Sam Jones, he does well for me in uh, Perfect Draft, so I'm going to increase my bid on him and hope that I get him for Rocky Mountain. So if again, if you're unfamiliar with the card shop, there's a little tutorial for you on how to work the card shop out. All right, again, we're not gonna do too much, guys. We've covered a lot in this video. We covered the playoffs from last week. We covered what the team looks like for this week. We covered where we are. We're in 273 silver. I will open 10 packs just to leave off on a hopefully positive note. I'm hoping to hit one of those limited cards. Come on, limited. If you haven't watched my pack opening from yesterday's video, from OOTP22, I opened 106 packs. Yeah, go check it out. I didn't do very well. I tend to do a lot better on this version of the game. All right, let's open a few more. Come on, let's go with a gold, a diamond, a perfect, a limited. We're getting some silver. That's at least 100 perfect points. Nothing there. Oh, gold, okay. Is he going to make a contribution to the team? Who is it? It is Kenley Jansen. Not sure if he's gonna be good enough. All right, two more packs. Looks like we've got one gold player, a few silvers. 
None from the Negro Leagues that were just released as well. A whole bunch of Negro League players were released. So you should be finding those in packs. And last one, let's end off with a bunch of lives. One silver though. We're not going to end off on lives. No, we're going to end off on, I'm going until we get a gold or higher. Gold or higher. Now this better not run me through all 97 packs. Bobby Bonilla, good player. Gold or higher, here we go, guys. Yeah, I'm extending this video till we get a gold or higher. Or we hit 90 packs. <laughs> One or the other, because we're not going to go and sit here all night opening packs. All right, nothing, three more to go. Come on, guys, where's that? There it is. There's a diamond. I was going to say, where's that puck? That pack luck. And it's going to be, is it alive? Yes, it is. Mookie bets. All right. I'd rather have the historical Mookie, but I'm good with that. Ivan Calderon. Good player. Okay, we will end off on one more pack. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. I could not plan this any better except to have perfects. Two gold. One live and one future legend. Both pitchers. All right. Excellent. Well, now I, I, I just got it, right? You just have to open one more pack. Okay, there we go. Phew. The streak is over. All right, so that is the packs. Just sold the Johnny Estrada that I had listed as well. So that's why it's uh, important to get your cards on the auction mark because they can sell pretty quickly. Now you'll notice I'm over 11,000 perfect points. Let's quickly go back and look at the dupes I got from those 20 packs. So back to manage cards, show duplicates. Wow, I picked up a lot of duplicates there. Again, I only want to focus on the higher priced ones. Oh, Mookie I already had. Okay, so Mookie Betts is a double. Sandy, same with Randy Dobnik. So I'm going to list these off screen because you guys don't need to see that again, other than maybe the top two. Someone's willing to pay 666. I'm good with that. That is well worth it for a silver level card. And Mookie Betts, someone's willing to pay 56. 5,500, so I'm going to list it for 5,555, five, five, five. and that one should sell. There it is. That one sold pretty quick as well. And one more, Pierce Johnson. Let's list him for 666 as well, and see if that sells. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, have you have you subscribed yet? Have you clicked that little thumbs up button? Every little bit helps the algorithms and push out the channel and gets more people watching and it kind of motivates me to do more content. You guys are part of the Gladiators just as much as I am. Again, this is not just my team, it's our team. So leave comments if there's players I should pick up, if there's guys on your team that are doing really well, let's try and win silver this week or at least make the playoffs. Again, we'll see you next episode. Love what you're doing with OOTP. It's a fantastic game and it is a great day for baseball. Have a wonderful day.